Hey guys. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Chilling. Sounds like you're running a playground over there. You got some kids in the background. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up, dude? Sorry, bro. I was looking at some VR headsets. I might just fucking buy one. Oh, no. You're joining the metaverse, huh? <laughs> I'm going to the metaverse, bro. There's nothing you can do about it. You're going to spend 100 grand to buy a property there? <laughs> <laughs> bro, roll your profits into a fucking fake. Yeah, I'm rolling my profits into the metaverse. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is going to have a Minecraft house. <laughs> I'm going to have the biggest metaverse house you've ever seen, dude. <laughs> You're going to have some metaverse sex in there? <laughs> so Yo, VR poor. Alex, let me be your real estate agent real quick. <laughs> like, yeah, so who's going to sell me my first metaverse? Yo, what can I get you, dog? This looks pretty good. <laughs> That's All right, what are we going to talk about today, Tosh? <laughs> Dude, we are talking about how you made $174,000 trading OCGN and other setups, man. Let's talk about it. Yeah, bro. So like, let me actually pull up. If you go to our video library, Tosh, yeah, go second. into our video library and go to the search bar and type in sell the news. Sell the so that, stinky news. Dude, check this so out. So people right? could see the videos that we have on this specific topic. So if you look at this, guys, we have five videos on sell the news and the DATS one was actually two weeks ago. So two weeks ago, this exact same setup showed up with... Um, the same style of stock sell the news at first red day. And we made a video on it. So if you were here two weeks ago and you watched that video, chances are you probably made money today. Well, and the funny part is Alex, two weeks ago, you're actually on this webinar again, talking about this saying the next one, you all better be ready. Well, I hope you guys were. Yeah, exactly. And that's, that's the main thing guys. And even if you missed that video, even if you missed that, Bao has a video literally in there, the trading fish Academy, the UAVS and CAPR sell the news setup. So we have subjects and we have topics on every single video in the day trading world. And that is kind of what separates us from everyone else. Everyone else doesn't have a video library that you could search. Everyone else doesn't have categorized and organized videos. You find whatever your weakness is in the trading world and you come to our video library and you will have everything that you need to you know, find success. Can I type in Wear Lambo and get videos on that? I don't know. I don't think we have a video on Wear Lambo. <laughs> but that's the point, guys. The point is that the main thing that I want you guys to understand is this: these setups don't come often, okay, where two things like a sell the news and a first red day come together. They maybe happen once or twice a year. It just so happens at this specific time, it happened within two fucking weeks. Go figure, right? Go figure. But the point is that we had – the education out there that if you did join and if you did watch, you were probably 100% prepared for today. And Tosh, if you want to go and actually let me share my chart so you can see exactly what I did and we could kind of review it. Yeah, but here, let me actually read what you started on the watch list. I already read it, but let me read it one more time. Alex said on the watch list, guys, today, this was literally pre-planned, pre-market before anything. Short what time was that, Tosh? Um, well, that was 5.58, my time. So that's 8.58 a.m., 32 minutes before the market opened. Yeah, correct. So that's like right here. Like, dude, that's so sick. And he put, shorted some pre-market, looking to scale into if this goes red, starters only until it's red. And then we'll go yeah, and our what I do guys pre-market is let's say I want to use just throwing a number out there. Let's say I'm using a thousand, a uh, thousand shares, right? Uh, if I'm trading pre-market, I don't want to use no more than a 10th of my size, no more than 50 to a hundred shares just to be able to get in there, just to be able to cure some FOMO, just to be able to get my shit together. And then the real size as this chart shows Tosh is when it went red, I slammed that shit. I covered on the first dip to give myself padding, to give myself cushion, to give myself money so that when it does bounce, I'm ready to get in there. And, you know, everything was kind of pre-planned and called out. Correct. So if you guys notice right here, I'm kind of trying to draw it exactly like his chart, just so you guys get an idea. Dude, the first one is right here. Look at what happens here when it slams red. And Alex, do you want to talk about like a little bit of the psychology of what that means when it slams red? Like why you started exactly right there? Yeah. So our setup, guys, this is a setup that Bao has been using since the OTC days. It is called the first red day setup. And this is something that, you know, we've refined together. Now we have realized is a super, super, super powerful setup, right? And the reason why it is a powerful setup is because when a stock goes from green to red, the sentiment changes. Longs start to get nervous, shorts start to get comfortable, 
and it turned into a dominoing and cascade effect of profit taking. OCGN was up from eight to fucking 18, 19. So whoever was long, this guy? probably chances are when it goes red, they're going to start to take a little bit of profits. And today on top of it, there was data. So on a lot of these pharmaceutical companies, guys, they run up, run up, run up into data. And then when the data comes out, good or bad, they sell off. Yeah, I mean, I mean the, the most layman's terms, and I've said this a couple of times, but I'll just say it again, guys. It's like, look, the biggest thing that could have ever happened for Dogecoin was Elon Musk going on Tesla at the time he was pumping it, right? For all the 17-year-olds who are trying to understand this. He goes on SNL Saturday Night Live and Dogecoin started tanking. It doesn't matter if it's good news. It doesn't matter if it's bad news. When a major event happens, everybody just, it, 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 history repeats a million times. Because the thing is, guys, just to keep when, it even more simple, there is no more catalyst. The catalyst is over. Gotcha. After the news comes out, after the data comes out, after whatever happens, the catalyst is over. There is no more reason for the stock to be pumped. And that is where you get an edge, right? So you had two setups lined up together in this specific scenario. And I mean, thank God, knock on wood, it exactly worked out to the plan. Well, Alex, it's like, you know, you know what it, you know what it's like the first red day? It's kind of like anticipation of like seeing the movie, right? It's like, say like, we're so excited for like Boba Fett's new series to come out. Dude, the anticipation, the anticipation, it's like hype every single day until it comes out and say you binge watch it in one day, it's over. There's, it's like, it's not looking forward to it again. It's over. Like that's what these are is so when the anticipation is over guys, cause the, in the anticipation, you get that grind up, you get day after day up, 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 because everybody's anticipating they're excited for an event. But once the event's here and you've watched the movie or the show that just came out, the, the, there's no more upside. Like that's the whole thing. So yep. and if you look at the stock Tosh, like in the, the chart today, you can see that the entire time the stock was under the view app the entire fucking time. So keep it simple guys. Keep it simple. Yeah, guys, this, this is, is a live price right here at 1318 all day, dude. And, and yeah. Alex, I mean, let's, let's even go a step further because the two things that you said, like sell the news and first red date, look, I love the first thing for me though was dude, a death candle slam through VWAP is like, bro, just on normal price action alone, that's sexy as hell for shorts. Not only does it break red. I mean, this was like a triple whammy in my opinion, man. Seriously. This Yo, is Tosh, can you see if Bao is muted? Because I don't think anyone can hear him. Oh, um, hold on one sec. Bao said he's muted? Okay. Let's see. I promoted him to panelist. He's definitely not muted. Huh. So his mic came out? Here, Bao, I'll make you host if you want. Hear me? Hear me? Oh, yeah. I hear you. Yep, can now, buddy. Okay, okay. Yeah, so if you take a look at the, the OCGN chart, which I've posted, guys, notice how much you ran up. Like, you ran up almost like 100%, right? Yep. And so that, that's, that's the big indicator right there. So the, the movement has already been priced in. And so this, that's the same thing for everything else, guys. So if the callus... It's, it's basically how much the move already been priced in or not. If this thing was flat and the news came out, it would have popped it up. So you have to take a look at how far it ran up first before you automatically just start shorting for no reason. Guys, what, one yep. of my favorite tips there to kind of um, coincide with that is always have one of your settings be a 15 or a 30 day chart to see where it came from. If you're always just looking at, you know, the current day, you're going to miss out on what it did the previous day. Or if this is what we're talking about. This had a hundred percent run up from fucking eight bucks, man. There's room oh. to come down. So the thing is this. So, so you have to take a look also when the news come out, like when the news comes out, it's already been anticipated that type of news. It needs to have some sort of blowout news that no one even anticipated for either, for it to be sustained. Hell yeah, dude. Exactly. And they got to do something crazy. And I think this news was that their COVID drug is going to be accepted in the USA, but Moderna and Pfizer already have the monopoly there. You know what I'm saying? So it's not really a big edge for this company. Seriously. Um, so yeah, guys, I mean, like there's, there's really not much to explain. Which one was it here. last week, Alex? There, there was the same exact set of DATS. It was DATS, pal. Remember they had a yeah, news with right. Barstool Sports. And yep, they, yep, right there. We made money, yep. Exactly. We made money on that too. We saw that the news came out and it was like bad news. They paid Barstool, not the other <laughs> yeah. way. Yeah. The news on this one was that they paid Barstool Sports $3 million to promote them, not the other way around. So the news that people were anticipating, anticipating, anticipating. 
Turned out to be fucking trash. What, Alex, it was this day, right? 10, 13? I think it was that day, yeah. Oh, dude. Like, th- this is the same setup, guys. You have to understand, bro. Yeah, I think Tosh magicians. led was 1550, if you look at it. So I think as soon as it went red, it fucking halted down. Dude, we're not magicians. You guys have to stop overcomplicating this shit, dude. This is just as simple as sell the news and slam red, and you now have a massive short edge. Like, it's not rocket science. And guys, dude. these setups don't happen every day. I see people saying... Oh, is this the first red day? I look at the chart. It's been green for only one day. A first red day needs multiple, multiple green days in a row before it comes down. If a stock is green for one fucking day, it does not mean that it's a first red day. Like if you look at a stock like PTPI, tomorrow is not a first red day on that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll draw it out. These are days, guys. Day one, day two. This was day five, bro. Yeah. This is day five. That's a first red day. Alex, what was the one you were just saying? Uh, PTPI today. That doesn't mean that tomorrow it's a first red day. If I go to the daily chart. Yep, guys, I'm on a 30-day chart right now. This is why I said look at the 30-day chart. Has it done anything these past 30 days? No, nothing. No, go to the daily, bro. Go to the daily. Keep it simple. One sec. One year, one day, right? It had one green day, guys. It had one green day. Doesn't mean it's first red day. That's the low-hanging fruit strategy if it's just like broken down the next day guys correct so don't be saying that these charts just because they're green for one day and they extended for one day they're a first red day yeah uh alex wasn't yesterday first red day on ocgen it was because it reclaimed yesterday it went red and came right back and today we had a forward looking event so i think a lot of people tried to anticipate it and they got squeezed the hell out not to mention, though, Alex, even yesterday, you still could have made money if you nail and bailed and not just waited until... If you nail and bailed it, yes, I just wasn't paying attention to it. So, yeah. yes, you could have made money. But for me, I was waiting for that news catalyst because it's been so hyped up for it. Alex, let me, let me just ask you a question for the members because sometimes they don't know what to ask. Is Do you think the best first red day possible is always when it has to sell the news? Do no. I? It's not. It's not I mean, always the best. It just this is a rare another, thing, guys. This is a very rare thing that happens. Correct. It's just another layer, you know. Sell, sell the news is an awesome setup by itself. Exactly. When you couple it in with another setup on top, that's huge. That's what we call coupling factors. That's why today was so powerful. Correct. So, and guys, these the first red day setup maybe comes along once every quarter, I'd say, or once every other month. A sell the news and a first red day setup comes along maybe once a year, maybe twice a year. It just so happened that this year it happened in between two weeks. So if you're not a short if you if you're not a short seller, you can use this to your advantage if you're a long bias by number one, realizing that shit, when the news come out, you better be selling to that pop. So the news came out, this spiked up. So amateur guys are chasing this. That's what they want. Amateur shorts who have been dying have been squeezed out as well. Yep. Definitely. Exactly, guys. Exactly. And knowing what stocks to are on first red day, high likelihood, it means you should not be buying those stocks. I think this applies to everything. But you have to be careful. Large caps, they are institutionally supported. This yeah, market. there's way too much big money. It, it used to work easier on large caps in the past, guys, but there's too much big hedge fund, mutual fund money behind these stocks that they will support it whatever way they got to do to make sure that they don't lose money. So it works better on these scam and manipulated companies. Yeah, yeah take, a look at OCG, take a look at OCGN. It's only 28% institutionally owned. Especially you, try, you try to slam Tesla, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. And especially in small caps when each new day is something else to look at, right? Like there's always a shiny new object. So it's like moving on to the next one, to the next one. Yep. Guys, any questions on maybe Alex today and OCGN now that we have Alex? Like, like did, did he answer it? Like, do you have any questions upon that? A lot of members, bro, followed the watch list and did wonderful. If you Great just keep job. a simple shot, Tosh, show the, I'm going to show the watch list statistic that was posted today. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Could, So let me, I'll post it in the webinar channel. I'll just give you one sec to find so, it. So one, one, one last comment on the first red day and uh, sell the news. So the first red day is a technical sell, but the sell the news is a, is a callous sell. So that, that's the reason why sell the news, in my opinion, is a bigger, better indicator that will tank 
than just the first red day. Because if you take a look at yesterday, it was a fake first red day. This stock has been running up on the callus of the of the uh, COVID vaccine stuff. So the information has not been released out yet, right? So if you're just banking on technical, you better be covering on technical. Yep, nail and bail. Seriously, like this is a nail and bail, even that. Uh, yeah, yeah let's, you want to talk about the watch list there? Yes, yes, yes. So final, uh, so Girls Trade 2, guys, this is one of our moderators. Her name is Nancy. Uh, she does a little bit of data tracking on the watch list every single month. And we like to, you know, kind of give you guys like results. So the, this is the new one. The final results are in for October 2021 watch list statistics. I added to my previous month's reports to include the percentage that actually when it hits the line. So this is when Alex does something in the watch list and he says like, this is the plan. I want this line and this. When it hits the line, these are what the statistics are. And also ran stats to consider only ones that worked before zombie hour. Um, yeah. New to the reports of the following, the percentage that actually- So basically the- guys, just to kind of dumb it down is- Yeah, dumb it down. The watch list, if you click that first picture, the watch list has, my watch list has an 88.5% chance of working. And 89% of those setups work before zombie hours. And all those risk ratios are included as well, guys. So if you literally stick to the watch list and walk away at zombie times, there is an 88.5% chance you make money. I mean, come on. Like, we're not saying follow us, but holy shit, use this as a guide. I mean, <laughs> come on. Like, come on. Man. And I have people that message me that are trading random shit. I don't understand how if you could be an MIC, you don't look at the watch list, man. Well, Alex, I said it this morning. I said, if you, we are convinced these days that if you don't read the watch list every single day and you're still having trouble in your trading, brother, you're addicted to losing or you actually don't want to be a fucking trader. Like, it's that simple. It's that, like, we don't mean to boast, but my God, man, it's in the percentage. Yep. It's it's just. (laughs) OPP. That's all. (laughs) Yo, Atash, you want to bring on OP Trader? Yeah, hell yeah! Is he available? <sighs> Yo, OP, yeah. what's up, man? Are you are you here? I don't I don't even, I don't even think he knows why he's here. <laughs> yeah, oh shit! Let me see. Tosh, you want to bring him on as if he has a uh, microphone? Hey, or hell stuff. yeah! Let me let me try, man. Hold on. Yeah, mic up, uh, Olivier. Hold on, buddy. Let me try. So you remember Olivier? We I brought him in on the uh, previous week's Instagram live. Yeah. So make Hello? sure you watch that episode too. That was a pretty good one. Oh, wait, there he is. OP, what's up, dude? Can, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, wait, the podcast, guys. Let me post the podcast. So you guys haven't want to watch the podcast with him? That, that's where you first saw who he is on the podcast. So, hey, brother, let, um, introduce yourself. Um, yeah, well, I'm Olivier and have been trading for like on and off six years, but with MIC, like 10 mo- 11 months or so. Where do you live right now? I mean, I'm in the US. I'm on the East Coast. You sound French. Are you from France? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I'm um, I'm from the Caribbean. But where I'm from, they do speak French. Not to uh, go into too cool. much. Yeah, I, I literally pictured you in like a like a Parisian cafe right now, man. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. So no, I, I've been I've been following and tracking uh, Olivia for a long time now, and I've seen his progress, and he's just phenomenal. And he's a great guy too, so that's why I had him do the podcast to see how you know, so people can interview you and to get know you because we wanted to promote you, br- brother. I mean, I, I see you; you're a great guy, and we would like nothing more than for you to help other members within MIC. So, Alex and I have been trying to set this up for a while, and then today, I guess, uh, hey, welcome to the latest uh, moderator here. Yeah, yes, seriously, right? junior moderator, OP this trader. Is, oh, this is the man. new junior mod. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Thank you. Um, oh. Of course. He was kind of nervous. <laughs> He's like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I mean, when when you invited me, I was like, hey, maybe you're gonna ask me a question about the the interview and all. But yeah, that was the uh, I wasn't expecting this at all. Um, Dude, thank we you. Pay attention, man. <laughs> we pay attention. You are you're a rock star, bro. Seriously. Yeah, I'm just I'm just I'm just you know doing my best, man, and trying to be the best I can be. That's all. Um, and I tried to post my chart so that um, other traders can can review it, you know, and see how I think because Bow's Twitter, before I even joined MIC, like his charts helped me a lot as far as trying to get his mindset and why he took the trades he took. So 
by me posting my charts, I was just, you know, passing it along to whoever, you know, is studying or is learning the same way I do. So I yeah, I love it. I love your charts, man. Take a look at, let's go review your charts. Let's walk through what you did. Okay, uh, I would like you to walk your own chart uh, through yeah. your chart. This is a beautiful, this is a beautiful way to trade. Take a look at this. This is the same thing, way that Alex does it. He, he notice he's not trying to top tick anything. He's waiting for the confirmation, the candle kill, and then he's hitting yeah. it. Look yeah, at well, what, the market, yeah. Well, what I did was I remember last time um, in the interview, I mentioned like I was tracking the first red day as one of my setups to add to my playbook. So I remember in the um, the last webinar you did with Alex, you mentioned how about having some trigger orders right below when it goes red. So I had some trigger orders there. So when it went red, it just hit me and I just covered and then I waited for the bounce and shorted some more on your VWAP, but it was acting weird, man. It was holding red to green a little bit. So I covered all. And then I tried to reshort the bounce, but I was a little bit too low from VWAP. So I cut it for break even. And I waited until it broke support and then support became resistance. And I shorted the pops and covered the washes. But um, I believe 13 or 1320 was holding too long. I was impatient. So I just locked everything in and I moved on. That's, that's an awesome trade, man. This is that way it is. You waited for the confirmation and then you hammered it, man. That's, that's the way. Keep yourself safe. A lot of the newer traders that keep adding, adding, they're getting blown up. And then they're, if you are short coming into day OCGN or you short too early, you're going to get blown out. And then you're going to go, wow, I covered the top. And uh, being, yeah. you, uh -huh. so the, the key, once again, what he did was, you know, make the meat of the move, guys. Wait for the confirmation on these. It's, these first day red setups, you don't know how many days they're going to run into. You have to wait. Dude, yeah, you, and it, it sounds so easy, man. I love it. it that's how simple well, the process can be. Well, I mean, it's it's not that easy, man. I mean, you guys know that. It's it's over time with um, learning, studying a lot, and reviewing bows charts a lot, um, saving them, saving my own charts. I always preach that, man. Like, save your charts and then save them, and review them on weekends. So I got to get a feel for what to expect. It's not 100%, but I can kind of expect how the first red day would behave. So I just, yeah, man, I just, but one thing I'm working on, and I mentioned to my tabs that I was like, yo, this week I'm working on my patience and discipline. So before I would be like, you know, having FOMO, trying to, you know, force the trade and all that. So right now, that's how you'll see how I cut my, my loss quick. I left it for break even, I waited for it to set up and then I just, I just attacked, man, because the probabilities were on my side. So I just took it. It's like, it's just like in your martial arts, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't attack yeah. us, please. <laughs> nah, hey. man, I'm, I'm, I'm peaceful, man. Don't worry about that. <laughs> he's he's going to be our security at all meetups. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Well, that's all. That was the trade. I mean, OCGN wasn't on my watch list this morning. I was watching OLB and fun, but Alex mentioned it. And then I was like, oh, sh oh wow. I mean, it's setting up. So I just waited and then, and then I just attacked it. Well, okay. yeah. So you're, you're on the East Coast, New York, huh? What, what, what area? I'm in Delaware. Oh, okay. But originally from Philly, though. Philly, Philly has my heart, man. Philly built me a lot, but I'm in Delaware right now. Uh, quite a difference, huh? Philly and Delaware. <laughs> Yo, Philly. Philly's tough sometimes, but man, yeah, too, it makes you strong. Too tough. Too tough, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Way too tough. Yeah, man. You, you need a black belt just to survive in Philly. <laughs> Dude, trust me. <laughs> yeah, man. But um, yeah, I mean, I appreciate it, man. As far as being a mod, you know, um, I've been helping members. Some, some of them emailed me, um, DM especially after the interview, you know, a lot of them took notes on it, which is like, yo, it's amazing. They showed me the notes they took and they've been dealing with the same thing that I've been dealing with. And they asked me for some pointers. So I gave them whatever I could. Um, because like I said in the interview, man, yo, this is the hardest thing I've ever done, but it's only hard because it's mental for me. So I have to work on my mind. And once I started working on that, I started getting consistent and and just take the trades for what they are. That's it. So 
Um, I mean, I, I yeah. see your improvement, man. I mean, dude, it's 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 amazing to see to see man, like from the beginning to now. Because I I've seen you on Twitter too, man, for a long time. So thank you for coming in to MIC, man. We're blessed to have you. <laughs> Yo, thank thank you. I mean, I found you. I mean, I I emailed you. You know, I, I didn't give you too much details, but when I found you, I was man. It was one of my lowest points, man. I was I was at a crossroad as far as this career that I wanted to pursue. And you were pretty much not what saved me, but you you I mean you showed me the way, man. And and I listened. I got I just got to it, man. I listened. I mean, I listen to you every day, dude. I mean I listen you. to all your videos, so, every single so one. What What do you think was the biggest difference? Risk management, what? What, what do you think to tell to the new traders? Um, well, whew, let's see. Risk management definitely was part of it because I was trying to rush too quick um, because I was chasing profits. I would see people making big P&Ls and I was like, man, I, I need to make that too, you know? So I would, I would risk too much, man, to to try to make it. And when I would make it, I would lose it the next day or a few days later because of the risk I was taking. So like not watching PLs or focusing on anyone else was one of the things that I applied to my trading and also risk management for sure. Like, you know, daily, max daily loss at the broker level, um, um, max loss per trade, max share size, um, yeah. And then, and then I reward myself. Like if I'm consistent for like two weeks or a week, then I'm allowed to increase my size. If the week after that I make an error, like a mental error, I have to go back to the size I was the week before until I'm consistent. And, and yeah, so basically increasing my size is a reward to my progress. So exactly, I'm just focusing on me, man. I mean, before I was focusing on too much on everyone else and, it wasn't helping, man. I mean, it was rough. So yeah. That's yeah. So it's hard to see, like, let's say Alex making that much money, you're making two hundred dollars, and you're like, "What the hell is wrong with me?" You know. So, but yeah. everybody, don't compare your chapter ten to someone's chapter one thousand, right, guys? Um, that's why Alex keeps a dollar, a stack of dollars by his desk to to show him how much that is. Making two hundred dollars a day is great money, guys. If you take a, take a look at that, I mean, how much do you, are we making as a normal nine to five job, right? So yeah. don't, don't take a look at these guys because in order for Alex to risk to make 175,000, he's going to be risking a hundred grand or 50 grand. Right. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, if I keep what I'm doing right now, if I'm consistent and I don't deviate and I stay disciplined by this time next year, knock on wood, I should be like in half six figures to high six figures. Oh, let's go. That's awesome. For oh. sure. If I don't, if I don't mess anything up mentally, but that's why I'm just focusing on my process, man. That's my goal. Just mastering my own process. What works for me, you know? So Olivia, let me ask you a question, man. How, how beneficial do you think the watch list is to your process every single day? Like, are you in there? Are you reading it every day? Yeah. Well, first, when I first started, when I first joined MIC, I was watching it every day, you know, but what I found was I would become too dependent on it. Like, I was, I wasn't become, I wasn't becoming self-sufficient. So what I did was when I went dark, I, I watched all of Alex's in pre-market watch list videos, how he made his watch list. I watched all of them like multiple times. And then I started making my own watch list. And then they were looking like Alex's watch list and, and they were pretty much the same levels I was looking at. So by doing that, Let's say Alex is off one day. I can still trade. I don't have to wait for him to, to put it. But the watch list is definitely gold, you know, like you guys said. But I want it to be self-sufficient on my, on my end um, so I can see how he does it, you know. But I check it. I definitely check it to make sure I'm on the same track as him. Like OCGN, it wasn't on my watch list today, but he, put, he posted it. And then I checked it. I was like, yo, yeah, 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 that's a good setup. So I just waited for it to set up, and then I attacked it. That's awesome. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. awesome. So, so that's, that's what we've, we've been talking about, guys. So there's two ways to use the watch list, right? The first way is to, to learn from it and obviously create your own to, to see if, you know, yours look like Alex's or Tom's and take a look more importantly at the levels of the lines that they drew, right? Because, you know, so the key to the watch list is knowing 
where to enter. A lot of the times you're entering way too early. That's, that's why we, we give out the watch list, but yet people are still having FOMO and entering way too early, right? And that's usually how it works because people don't trust, like, like how can this thing move so far away? But in trading, oh my God, it does, right? It's like, <laughs> and so if you're too early, you're screwed. So use it to learn. And, and as a beginner, you can, I mean, I don't, I don't advise anybody to copy anything, but if you must, if you must take a little size off of the watch list, just so that you can become confident. Cause a lot of times you, you, you're scared. You're like, I don't trust this. I don't trust this. The way to trust something is to do it repeatedly successfully. So, you know, if you want to train yourself as to, to the lines and just place like a hundred shares where Alex is putting, right guys are putting a stop out. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, dude that's so good. Olivia, you're a rock star, man. Welcome to the new junior mod position. And bro, I'm telling you, man, you're going to be an absolute superstar if you keep doing what you're doing, man. Man, I appreciate it. Thanks to you guys, you know. Thank you very much. I hope you don't get overwhelmed, guys. So be, be very nice. <laughs> to Olivier with your questions. Uh, oh, don't, 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 I mean, he's, he's going to submit you. <laughs> he's going to fly to your house, brother, if you, if you ask him stupid questions. Like, yeah, guys, <laughs> don't, mess, don't mess with this guy. You can, you can, mess, with, you can mess with Tom. Oh, with Billy guy. and Black Belt, you're done, man. <laughs> oh, oh, man. All right, thanks, brother. Good shit, All man. All right, guys, thanks, thanks again. Talk soon, buddy. One. Okay, bye. Dude, that was awesome, man. It's, it just goes to show, man. It's like, it's like another member just really getting it and really honing in on their results, man, because they do what it takes to learn. <laughs> These Zuckerbergs. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Guys, do you have any questions so far on any of this? Any questions, guys? Send them through. Now you still here? Oh yeah. Oh, I was like, I thought I thought your audio cut out or so. I was like, I hope I didn't mute Bow too. I'm 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 respecting Olivier. I don't want to overstep him, and he's gonna chop me or something. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm telling you, man, he's he's getting real good. Man. I was about to go in a fucking arm bar any second, bro. <laughs> I'm ready to submit, bro. <laughs> so um, so guys, I mean, these are. These are homegrown traders, man. Guys, this is why I love you guys. You, you guys are basically studying your ass off, being disciplined, and the results show that it works. Once again, guys, our strategy is so basic. Of course, you can add more if you want, right? So the, the key, guys, a lot, of the, a lot of the complaints I hear is you guys are too simplistic. Uh, you, you should do this or that. Of course, of course, there's many ways to trade, guys. We just want you guys to be able to jog. Then you can run as fast as you want. But a lot of guys starting right starting out, can I even crawl? No less walk. We're teaching you to at least jog. Yeah, seriously. All right, let's take some questions. Guys, send in your questions. You have all three of us right now. Alex, Bow, myself, any questions, send them right now. Send it. We'll send it. <laughs> we'll send it. <laughs> uh. Someone goes, do you think OCGN will come back? Uh, well, I mean, I, I mean, uh, we, 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 if we knew, we, we would have insider information. I, I hope it does, man. And if it does, we'll be ready for another chance at a first red day. Like, let's go. I would love it to. But that doesn't mean long here and anticipate and hope it does. That's just gambling. If it does, it does, right? Now, why did you trade a first bounce on PTPI if deviation from VWAP wasn't a lot like the other bounce plays from the last week on BTTX and BKKT? Uh, PTPI. That's why I said it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I said the fucking trade sucks. Um, I made a little money, but it's not enough. But the, the thing is this, it, because it went all the way to 380, and there was a definitely support line around that area, and that's all I did. I did, you know, it's, it's a very tight trade where I, I did, you know, it was a 10 cents area of trade that I did. So I was not going to lose that much. It just in case is squeezed. Okay. Cause this thing it was squeezing. It was what, uh, what time did I do this? It was like zombie hours or something. 
I think so. Once again, guys, this the optimal trade is once again a low float that's being squeezed. That's deviated from VWAP. Okay, this sucker did deviate by forty cents over VWAP, but it dropped way too much. The moment it stopped way too much, shorts were in control. So the, the key to a first bounce, in my opinion, the way I do it is you want shorts to be squeezed because shorts will help fuel the, the bounce. Because what happens is shorts are still so upside down that they will be fighting for every bid that drops down. And that's why it's so important that the stock does not come back to VWAP. Once it comes back to VWAP, the shorts are, are being let off the hook and they can keep adding now. Definitely. Astrologer goes, where do I get my Squid Game crypto refund? <laughs> oh, dude. Holy shit. Now I've been warning you guys. We've been warning you on freaking all this shit. NFTs and how they do it and freaking cryptocurrency shit coins. Bro, that's another topic itself. Does anyone have his Oculus VR shit, guys? <laughs> Alex is literally about to purchase it right now. Hey, Black Friday is coming up. I think you need to wait for the sale. Guys. <laughs> wait for that Black Friday sale. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what Alex is talking about. How much is this thing? I think like two hundred bucks, three hundred bucks. Just buy it. Nah, dude. I don't know. I want to see you if it's you can save like you can save fifty bucks. <laughs> Alex, you buy like a new painting like every twenty minutes. Just buy it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Can't afford it, bro. Like, like one <laughs> week of gas in the freaking Lambo, dude. One day, I guess. He goes, he goes, I have an Oculus Quest too. The porn is amazing. <laughs> the porn is amazing. <laughs> it's so it's real. <laughs> Dude, BB dubs are BB dubs, if you know what I mean. That's hysterical, man. You guys are crazy. See, this is the fun of the community, man. Why would why the Frick, would you want to trade alone, dude, when you could trade with all of us every day? Like, it's so much fun, man. You got a, you got a couple. Who's got, a, who's got an affiliate link to, to the VR? <laughs> Drop it now. Alex is about to pull the trigger. Oh, I got a, I got a good tip for you guys. Uh, use the Edge browser, Microsoft Edge browser. They have a built-in coupon code. So whenever you shop, it, it pops up and goes, try all 15 codes, and it does it for you automatically. You got to be kidding. As a built-in coupon code, but they also stole Bao's identity. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not worth much anyway, so. <laughs> Bao had to cancel all his credit cards recently because of coupon the, code. the side chicks are taking most of the money these days. <laughs> yep, that's they, true. They put all his money in the Squid Game cryptocurrency. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a coupon code for Chanel bags? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called Dumb Fuck 30. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Type in this code in the checkout. Oh shit! So let's. Gosh, can you put on the link for the webinar again? Let me actually talk about it one more time while people are here. Oh yeah, let's do that. Uh, here you go, buddy. No, not that webinar. Oh, I was like, what the? Uh, <laughs> the free course. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, let's go. Hold on one sec. So oh, guys, webinar. If you guys are not in MIC, if you guys are curious about trading, or if you guys want to start trading. Me and Bao create a free webinar course that's going to teach you the A to Z of day trading. It's going to teach you how to read a chart. It's going to share some of our profitable day trading setups. It's going to have my $700,000 AMC trade and an $18,000 live trade. So if you guys are non-members and looking into trading or looking into MIC, we're providing you with one hour of free MIC style education at myinvestingclub.co dot co not dot com it goes with limited seating every single week so go to the website reserve your spot look at the live trades and you guys are going to get a taste of what mic is all about and it is 100 percent free and guys the reason why you know this is because you know i talk to a lot of people on the phone weekly dude i can't tell you how many people get on the phone with me and they're like what's a broker like, like, aren't you trading my money? I'm like, no, dude, we're not trading your money. We're going to teach you how to trade your money. We're not handling your money. We're going to teach you and educate you how to trade your money. Like Alex trades his money. I trade mine. Bao trades his own. So like, you have to sit through this webinar if you're a non-member. It's going to answer every question on what even this world looks like, because look, we're veterans in this space. You know, um, Alex and I have been doing this eight years. Bao's been doing it 20 years. It's hard to go back to that 
that first step where you don't even know what, how the stock market operates. We forget that. So we put this together for you guys to kind of go back to absolute square one and explain that for you. Like what is yep. it? And Tosh, go to the, go to the video library real quick. One of the questions was, are you guys thinking about doing more courses? Would be cool to see a short selling course. So scroll down a little bit on the video library, Tosh. It's yep. going to see MIC strategy right there. That's your course guys. Your course for all the other strategies are right there in the video library. Oh, this has all of our strategies organized, categorized. So if you guys are in MIC and asking what our strategy is, there it is. All the stuff is there. Guys, I, I'll say it one last time. First red day, this is what Alex did today. If you want to know how Alex did what he did today and you're not watching all of these videos, don't be a schmuck. Go watch. Go watch the Everything videos. There, guys. Everything is in there. We have, if you could find me something trading related that we don't have a video on, I'll send you a fucking shirt. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, we need to make more videos. So. <laughs> You're going to have to do a lot of digging. Yeah, guys, go, 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 if you want a, a, a course on short selling, anything other course, go to main main trading room every day and watch that man we do the we do live courses every day right here right here this is our main trading room with short selling and um and and alongside of small caps and if you guys even need a step further go to new member channel type in or just you don't even have to type it in you just got to find it um go to my full process and just read on what shorting is like for shorting for dummies 101 what is the process? What does shorting look like? Here's a couple chart examples to explain exactly what I was talking about. Like, dude, we have everything for you guys. Everything. Just don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. But watch this webinar if you are not an MIC member and you want to learn uh, basically everything that the stock market entails and what we do and what MIC is all about outside of this webinar, this live one that we're giving right now. Oh, yep. what's Tesla doing? Jeez. Tesla is such a freaking cult stock, man. I just can never bring myself to short this these days because, dude, it's so freaking cult, man. Screw that. Guys, questions, questions. No video on where Lambo. <laughs> hey, Alex, you should post your, your Lambo. There's the video. <laughs> man, where Lambo I, is, is in Alex. It was going to make you guys... Alex is there with the Batmobile, bro. This thing is so sick. He's got the perfect color on it, too. Let me see if I have a photo. He could have gotten like a dumbass orange one, but he didn't. Thank God. Let's see. Can't find video on how to pump. That's hysterical, Ben. <laughs> Get a video on how to That's dump. That's a good one. Sick, dude. Did George take that? Yeah, Bro, that's, so, that's so that's sick. Cool. That's Photoshop, dude. It looks like dude that is so it. Photoshop, man. That is not you at all. The beard's different. <laughs> <laughs> the trees in New Jersey are different, dude. <laughs> dude, if he's driving, who's taking the photo? It's a Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the selfie stick? I don't see it, bro. This is a green screen. This is not the same Zoom shit, right? You guys use the Zoom? Bro, you know the I best thing about having a car like this is, guys, is it's – Seeing literally the kids open up their mouth and go, holy, like their mouth is so wide open. They literally can't fucking believe what they're seeing. Oh. That is literally the best part about having a car like this. Dude, I went to New Jersey two weeks ago, guys, and me and Alex were driving it around in his Lambo and these and his group of little kids comes up and they're like, oh my God, how'd you get that car? And Alex is like, buy Dogecoin. <laughs> Instagram influencer. And I was like, Alex, dude, don't say that. They might actually buy Dogecoin. <laughs> that's funny dude i almost shit my pants when you hit 150 or 140 man whatever you hit dude i didn't I'm do anything that was mexico bro oh that's right yeah yeah we flew it in we choppered it in <laughs> you guys are crazy man it's a fun car though man it's a fun car we're lambo <laughs> here lambo <laughs> it's oh, right yeah. there See, wait, we we cover pretty much everything there's no more questions all the time each one of i these, think that's it man i think that's each it one of these webinars is less and less questions why do you guys use options as well when trading especially when you have a high chance play sg it's not that we all trade options it's that we have options offered so while alex and bauer and myself are not doing options all day for the people that want to learn options We've got Joe Kelly and Orin to teach that. So it's not like we're doing options, swing trading, short selling. Day trading is hard enough. Commentating while day trading is hard enough. Commentating while day trading while answering questions is hard enough. Yeah. Commentating while day trading while answering questions while trading options is, I can't do it. Yes, exactly. Options, 
Dude, the options are very different than the normal trading because you could be right and still lose money on options, guys. Because the expiration dates, yep. There's many different strategies. That's different trading options. Strategy, you don't trade options like you trade stocks, guys. If you do that, you're going to lose. <laughs> Brock goes paper Lambo. That's funny. Oh, yeah. This was some guy that I actually we actually got rid of at MIC. He joined and he wanted to cancel. And we asked, why are you looking to cancel? He basically said that he's looking for day trades to jump in, interactive trading where he could just copy our trades. Also good trades. I mean, come on, guys. Okay, take a look at that. Oh, you want fucking to copy someone's trades? Take a look at somebody on Twitter that lost millions of dollars. <laughs> copy him. Yeah, literally. Guys, do you have any idea how many people we turn away weekly that just want to get rich quick? Like, the, the numbers would be a step. We'd have four. And the same people, right the same people that say that hard stops or training wheels are the same people losing millions of dollars, guys. So, I mean, if you want to go and get your place from them, go ahead. You will lose money faster than they are losing money. So, if you want alerts, actually, dude, watch list is better than alerts. I mean, I don't, I don't fucking understand. Do you really need me to click the button for you? If people are so fucking lazy, the watch list is your alert. Yeah. 30 minutes before the market opens, too. You just need to fucking read. The problem they have is they 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 they, they want to fucking like ding 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 and they just chase. So they, they that's why they're taught. So this is a sign of pump and dump, right? They're first thing they're taught when they join the room is how to create hotkeys. The first hotkey is buy buy buy. You don't you don't ever see a hotkey for sale. Yeah. Dude, hundred percent. I mean, this is an alert. It's just not live because live alerts are going to make you change your mind over and over and you're going to chase someone else's agenda in the moment. This is dude, this is pre-planned, man. This is methodical. So there's a question. Uh, do majority of members work 95 or are they self-employed? I'd say probably. Yeah. I, I, I think everybody works. Most of the people work guys. I do not recommend you quitting your job to day trade. That's the dumbest thing to do unless you have an income already because trading is hard enough being being stressed when the bills come so this is why what we do is so great because there's there's a different setup for different types of uh people with different types of time frames so we have traders all over the world so you know you don't have to stay here all day you can make your money nail and bill and get out so that's that's the whole thing man nail and bill now between the first hour of the open zombie hour reversal hour swing trading and options and expiration dates guys it doesn't even matter what job you have schedule you have how many kids you have how many wives you may have you can find benefit at mic and something that tailored to your schedule and lifestyle you may you may only have enough time to be a swing trader in big caps we'll teach you that you may only have time for an hour in the mornings before you go to your job we teach you that maybe you have a lunch break every day for reversal hour we teach that too like well, that's the thing guys don't stick around all day if you stick around all days like stick around the casino all day you're gonna end up losing all your money because you're bored Make your money, get the hell out, live your life. Except yeah, I, if, I just hate the excuses. Except if you're me. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm just so sick of the excuses of like people wanting to better their lives. And I'm not even just talking about trading, but like in any form, but specifically with MIC, it's like, I'll join when I make the money from my own trading. I'm like, well, how are you going to do that? And then, or I'll join MIC when I get more free time. I'm like, dude, you mistake it on the fact that you have to be in MIC main trading chat during the market hours to benefit. You guys have a video library list. You have access to mods 24 seven. You can do them at night. You can watch videos at night. Like there's just so many excuses why people put off education and learning and there is no perfect moment. Just dive in and learn, learn, invest in yourself and your education. And you're going to get to the point where you go, man, I'm glad I did that four months ago. Look at all the momentum I built watching just 30 minutes a day. Guys, if you're waiting for the perfect moment to join because maybe your kids are in school or you work two jobs, I'm telling you, man, like there's no perfect time. Just dive in. Yep. So I hope that helps somebody. I think that's it, guys, for me. <laughs> Alex, like I gotta go, I gotta go drive the, the Batmobile. Oh, Trader Clinic. Alex, uh, a couple people asked about that soon. Oh, yeah. I think next week, guys, I think I'm trying to aim for next Thursday uh, for Trader Clinic. And Trader Clinic, guys, if you guys don't know, is our annual and lifetime only webinar where we kind of get into a little bit more advanced topics. So I'm thinking maybe next Thursday is when we do it. I'll let you guys know a little bit more uh, next week just to kind of see what my schedule is like to kind of fit it in there. Let's do it, brother. Dude, go, go house hunting in Oculus VR, man.
go look up some Minecraft houses. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. See you, buddy. Dude, that car is so sick, man. I had so much fun in Alex Lambo, but I tell you, man, I almost shit my pants, dude. That thing goes so fucking fast, dude. You actually don't know cars can do certain things until you're in them. Then you're like, damn. <laughs> I see the appeal, man. <laughs> Guys, any questions? Don't fight Tesla right now. Look at this. <laughs> 30 minutes left, as you guys know, as MIC process, the last 30 minutes of the day, there's never a short edge. So anyone looking up to open up new short positions right now, even in the last hour, but specifically the last half hour, you're just, you're honestly asking to get squeezed. You're asking to have a headache. <laughs> That's good. You're asking to have sorts of trouble uh, within your trade. Val, you better not be shorting right now. Val? Wait, I'm, I'm fucking... Oh no! No, no, not that, dude. Take a, I, I'm, I'm, there's something more, dude. I'm you didn't invest in squid. Trying to rectify it. <laughs> Very insensitive people right now. All right, so uh, we're done, dude. I mean, yeah, we can we can wrap it up a little early today, guys. I think we did a full explanation of OCGN, the watch list. We answered your questions. If we didn't get to every question, guys, I'm sorry. It's hard to kind of see through our member chat and YouTube. So if you didn't get questions answered. As always, just dude, just text my line, man. I will answer any question that you have on joining. Uh, and then we can get you right as rain, man. 213-458-5997. Just text my line. Um, go watch the webinar, myinvestingclub.co. You want to watch this. Uh, let me scroll up to the top one last time. Guys, myinvestingclub.co. If you're not a member, this is it. This is going to answer everything on top of just texting me. And I think that's the best way to get started. So Dude, without further ado, man, we'll see you guys next week. And this was an awesome lesson today, guys. Thanks for showing up, man. Now we'll see you later, buddy. Bye, right, man. See you, bud.